everyone welcome back to chop daisy's rad plant living today we're going to talk to you about how to heal your gut mm. especially after all of that christmas and new year goodness yep. that you've been indulging in yeah a bit of a <laughs> gut reset you know we all overindulge christmas time mm -hmm. we probably eat things we normally wouldn't eat we're away we just and parties having a good time so sometimes you might go oh my gosh i've eaten something that doesn't agree with me or yeah maybe just wanting to start the new year with a bit of a gut reset yeah you might be feeling a bit bloated or bloated, a bit gurgly nausea, or maybe your movements aren't as right. normal as they usually are not quite right not quite right <laughs> <laughs> first thing ginger Ah. Ginger is really good for your tummy, it's really soothing, it's anti-inflammatory. It's a nice way you can add a ginger tea or just add ginger to salad dressings or to your salad or to your stir fry or whatever. It's really yep. good for antioxidants as well, so that's really good for your tum. Yeah. Your tum tum, ginger. Whole foods are really great mm -hmm. for the gut. Um, the fibre and all the antioxidants and the polyphenols super good for your tummy so obviously what do you mean by whole foods Amy? so whole foods so like plants things that haven't been altered at all so processed. it hasn't been processed yeah so yeah. whole foods as nature intended made made intended them. yeah okay so that's what i'll go with for that, yeah, I like that. <laughs> because fiber as i don't know if you know you probably know but a lot of people don't know that fiber feeds your good gut bacteria oh. so it can be thrown okay. out I didn't know that. your gut bacteria can be thrown out really easily you got uh. probiotics that you can take orally but prebiotics are fibers which your gut bacteria feeds on. Okay. So like I said before in an earlier video, I was talking about resistant starches and things, starchy foods and like apples and apple skins. Even the core you can eat of apples, eat the whole thing because there's really great antioxidants in the seeds and the Hang core. Hang on a minute. I thought if you ate like apple seeds, you'd have apple trees Grow growing a tree. your ears or something. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's not true, it won't happen. <laughs> no, that won't happen. But they're yummy, I always eat the whole core. Oh, do you? Yeah, okay. I do. I never used to until I realised goodness and all the fibre and yeah. So you could take a probiotic as well if you think, yeah, yeah you just need a little bit of uh, help there. Because um, like I said, things can easily knock out the balance of your gut bacteria. Right. And then you'll feel, like Emma Jane said before, a bit gurgly, a bit, yeah, just a bit even tired, foggy. Berries are good for antioxidants. Oh yeah, my little berries. Berries, so they're good and they're good in fibre, so they feed tummy as well. Do you know what's yummy at the moment is um, we're forming this at the end of summer is the is the blackberries at yes. Wally's. Yes. So delicious. I know. Really you can yum. even get organic ones that aren't very dear. Oh. oh. So good. Blackberries are super good. That dark purple colour is right. a great antioxidant. So like okay. one of the best colours you can eat is that dark purple blueberries, blackberries, purple cabbage. Oh yeah. Yeah, eat some purple veggies, beetroot, yeah, yeah, super good. Add some fermented foods. Tempeh, miso, sauerkraut, kimchi if you like it spicy, uh, kefir, Emma Jane, um, husband makes water. Uh, kefir. Water kefir, water kefir. Yeah. kefir. So, really yum. Yeah, so good for you. Kombucha, sometimes people, it doesn't sit well with them, kombucha, they might get a bit of a yeasty reaction, reaction <laughs> uh, if that's you have something else yeah <laughs> flax seeds are super good i like to have them ground though because they just go they we can't chew them up like you should and you're supposed them. to consume them like pretty quickly after you yeah them they too, do go you? around so, so i grind mine fresh i've got a little coffee like a little electric spice grinder yeah and, just, and you just got that from kmart or something didn't yeah you? yeah and just waz them up and have them straight away or into a smoothie or something yeah. smoothies are quite gentle on the tummy too Mm. so if you mm. are feeling a bit off or whatever the other thing you can do is do like a bit of a gut protocol where you might have a lower carbohydrate diet and maybe there's a gut right product mm -hmm. which you could do mm -hmm. if you wanted to i find it's a really great product it's by atp science and they have a protocol um, on their website that you can follow if you're really wanting to it's a 10 day by protocol. the time you're watching this video, I will be doing that gut protocol. So I might Ten let days. you know in the comments how I'm going with that. It's the yeah. second time I've done it. Yeah. And if you're local and you're wondering about maybe doing the protocol, go and see Amy in her shop yeah. because she stocks that product yeah. and she can talk you through like how to do it and stuff. That's right. Yeah. So it just gives your tummy the support it needs and it's a mod biotic. So it um, alters your gut bacteria. It balances it basically. 
So if you've got an overgrowth of the wrong kind of bacteria, it'll um, sort of suppress that or get rid of it. And yeah, yeah. The good. Mod. Mod biotic. So Sounds that's pretty cool. cool. And that's pretty much all I've got on that at the moment, but we'll probably do another. Um, yeah, we're going to do a lot of gut based videos because people have a lot of questions about it. Yes. And it's really important. Um, I was just going to add. Tell me if I'm wrong, but massaging your kale, can that sometimes make it a bit easier to digest? Yes. Easier on your gut? Definitely. Like to, yes. Is yep. that relevant? Helps here, break up the fibres a bit. Okay. And you just can do that with a little bit of what, olive oil or something? Yeah. Yep. Or a little bit of apple cider vinegar. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah, cool. Yep. That just helps break down the fibres a bit. It's just, it's not as tough to eat. So, yeah, you just you digest right. it a little bit better. Yeah. Cool. cool. Excellent. If you have any comments that you'd like to make about gut health, yep. especially in this post-Christmas season, whack them down in the comments for us. We'd love to hear from you. Thank any you so questions? Much. Yeah, yeah, any, any questions, questions you especially have. about gut stuff. Or any tips you have. Yeah, yeah for other cool. viewers. Yeah. Um, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Until next time, eat the rad plants. And live the rad life. <laughs> Great. Done. Done. So awesome. Thank you. Oh, so much information. Sure. That is awesome. Yeah.